Hi! This is a quick response video of the video that I made last week about me logging into my band account. That video apparently got pretty viral, or at least it is by my standards. If you do not care about this topic or the backstory of me or that account, I have absolutely no problem of you closing this video right now and doing something else. First, I wasn't planning on making this response video because according to the like to dislike ratio, most people believe me that I got hijacked and bought it on. So why I am making this response video is because I was told that I didn't explain myself all too well, making people think that I've lied and bought it on the account myself or that the Jagex only responds to people that, have, uh, that make videos. And that will be one of my six points. First one being that Jagex only responds to appeals of YouTubers. That is just plainly not true. If you just check the comment section, there are a couple of people that have appealed and they got responded to. Now in my case, I discovered that my account was banned and I didn't know how to appeal it. So I just asked via Jagger support on Twitter. And the only thing that they did was that they responded to me with the link to the ban appeal, which is completely available to everyone. And that is all they did. They just sent me a link and that's it. Now, I didn't make a fuss about the discovery of my ban, making a video about it, making a Reddit thread or tweeting a lot, just asking for support. I didn't do that. I only have 400 followers on Twitter anyway, while other YouTubers and streamers have like in the thousands, so tweeting one reply to Jagex support wouldn't cost much. Also I didn't think that a random Jagex support mod would even uh, recognize me. So I got responded with the link to the ban appeal page, and if you have the same problem of your account being banned. Just go to the main RuneScape website, runescape.com, click on support, then click on your account, account bans at the account settings, and then you're there. Just click the yellow rectangle to appeal by submitting your email address, your login name or login email, and then your character name. After you've done that, you will just have to wait up until a month before you will be receiving your response, which is either a yes or a no if they want to unban your account. Now I have gotten my response 14 days later after I have submitted my appeal, saying that they have identified a period of unusual activity around the time of my ban and believe that they were not committed by me. And they also told me that I had to put more security on my account. Okay, for point number two, someone in the comment section named SternEU asked me to show my uh, GE history and to show what the hijacker did on my account. So that is what I did. I just let's go to the uh, account history. And apparently they have first bothered some green dragons, but I guess it didn't really go that well with one defense. Although I don't really know, I usually bots use a whip, so I thought I would be getting defense experience with uh, getting shared experience. Uh, I have no idea what weapons or armor they have used to kill these dragons, but uh, I also don't really care. As for the rest, they've also uh, bothered some more chin chompas, and then they've just sold literally everything that was already in my bank, which was worth more than uh, 1000 GP. Placeholders didn't exist back when I have uh, put this account on inactive. So my placeholders were just one item of something and they have just sold, yeah, like my placeholder boom bar, placeholder of my crystal keys. Now, what I actually didn't know about at the first time making my, uh, my original video is when I go to the bank, apparently they have just sold my freaking full Gracefall, which is fucking assholes who do that. But they have just sold my Gracefall just to sell those MLIs to the Grand Exchange and they've made an extra 2.3 million from that. Uh, yeah, I had a bank pin on my account though, but because my account was inactive for so long, yeah, they just had to wait seven days, which was absolutely no problem because I wasn't logging into any way to check up on it. 
Now, what I said before is that I didn't have anything worth in my bank because Iron Man mode came out and that was the perfect game mode for me. So I gave everything to my brother just before I have put this account on inactive. Now, Iron Man mode is perfect for me because I've always been a kind of an Iron Man. Like this 86 herb lore is all gotten from making potions from the farmed herbs. And that is pretty much how I have gotten uh, 92 farming, just from farming herbs and then making potions from them. Now, of course, I wasn't a full-on Iron Man before the game mode, because, yeah, I've spent quite a lot of time on Zybee's forums, buying seeds for farming and then buying the uh, potion secondaries and selling my potions, of course. Now, a quick point number three is a lot of people have actually asked how I have gotten 100 cooking and 101 fletching. And that is because I use the free game client called OSBuddy. But if you use Conduit or OSBuddy, you can also get this feature of having imaginary skill levels when you train your stats higher than uh, level 99, which is 13 million experience. So at 15 million experience, you are technically level 100 and at 16 million, you are technically level 101. Now this is purely cosmetic. It's not like you actually level up to level 100 when you uh, play Conduit or OS Buddy, of course. Now, as for point number four, is my motive. Why would I make a video of me revealing that I got my banned account back when I've bought it on it myself? Why do so many people think that I bought it just because I got my banned account back? If I didn't make that video, you wouldn't have known about anything and so what the hell would my motive have been? I, I absolutely have... N I can't comprehend your reasoning. I kept everything quiet when I first discovered that my account was banned because if I would make a video, a Reddit thread or tweet it a lot, that would just cause drama. I'd like to stay as far away from drama as possible. I just thought that it would be interesting to see what the hijackers did on my account and that is just pretty much the video that you saw. If you want to know more about me personally, there will be a link in the description to my Q&A video that I've made approximately a month ago. And the questions in there had absolutely no boundaries. I pretty much answered everything. One thing that I said in there is how I am always so calm when I'm doing quests. And that is pretty much just my personality. I am an introvert. I express myself inwardly by thinking about the stimuli instead of reacting to it outwardly, like expressing emotions or wanting to talk about it. This makes me seem emotionless or cold or, or without any care. I do very much care about my first OSRS account being banned, but I don't act emotionally about it. Rarely, but in some quest guides I had a rage outburst and uh, yeah people find that completely hilarious of course but that is probably because there were a lot of people counting on my guides and pretty much still are so i want my guides to be perfect and with me screwing things around uh, fucking up the quest for example or just most likely me being unable to explain myself correctly and those things just annoy me very much and when they just keep happening, I just get a sudden rage outburst for one second before I am being calm again. Okay, point number four out of six, last logged in 61 days ago. Okay, I think I have explained this point clearly and I have no idea how I can explain this even simpler. My account, this account has been inactive since Iron Man mode came out back in the end of 2014 and I only log into it like once or twice a year. Now why? It's because this account has history. I just log into it just to have some nostalgic vibe for one minute and then I just log out again. After the account has been inactive for two and a half years, on May 8th I discovered that my account was banned because I was logging into all of my accounts again just to have a nostalgic vibe again for one minute. Now, according to the account status, the account was banned on March 22nd. On May 9th, I got my tweet replied to, and on that day, I have appealed my ban. 
Then two weeks later, from May 22nd, my account got from the banned status to locked status and I was able to recover it because for some reason my email remained unchanged and this was probably because my login didn't require an email because uh, this account was created before 2011. I logged in on the account on May 22nd on the day that I got my account back and then of course it showed that the last logged in was 61 days ago. If you subtract 61 days from May 22nd, which is then March 22nd, which is the day of my ban. I, I thought this was pretty self-explanatory. Okay, apparently I only have five points. And the final point is why does my pure have 80 prayer? Apparently a couple of people have asked me that. And that is probably because I just love account making with extra restrictions. Because being normal is just boring and uninteresting to me. Now I don't see this account as a big hair at all. I only see it as an account where I have to complete a lot of quests as well as trying to get a high total level while staying one defense. I've gotten all my stats to 75 plus except for thieving but uh, ignore that. So the next thing was to try and getting all the stats to 80 plus and that is why I have 80 prior. All right, thank you for watching. Hopefully I've cleared some things out and okay, thanks, bye.